Hey, moron! Hey, moron! Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Everybody's going to have a great Saturday. It's going to be a busy one. I got some work I got to do first thing today. Got to get out on a roof and repair it. And then tonight, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock Eastern, um, 9 o'clock Central. And 7 o'clock, if you're out on the West Coast, the Dallas Cowboys will take on the Las Vegas Raiders. And tonight, in preseason game number two. In this game, we do know that the Raiders will be starting their starters in this game. No um, report yet on if the Cowboys will be doing the same or not. Um, one thing that is not quite clear at this moment is whether or not Mozzie Smith will be going mozzie did not travel with the team yesterday he had an allergic reaction we don't know to what we don't know if he's got like a peanut allergy or whatever but it was strong enough for them not to have him travel and he's going to be reevaluated this morning on whether or not he could actually play and i would love to see him there playing but of course his health is more important than a preseason game so um one thing i want to get to a little bit here Last night, I talked about the possibility of something that I've kind of heard, and I'm not sure if it's 100% right or not, so don't, don't kill the messenger, you know, deal with the message. Um, we're hearing, I, I heard something that the Cowboys and Dak Prescott look to be kind of uh, closing in on some numbers that possibly are about $58 million a year. Okay, 232 million, which would be two million more than the guaranteed money that Deshaun Watson got, which would make him the highest paid quarterback in football, at least for a minute, at least for a little bit of time. And as we know with Stephen Jones, when you get paid, then that means you're expected to do even more. We've heard Stephen Jones talking about C.D. Lamb, who it's rumored that the Cowboys have offered about thirty three million dollars a year to make him one of the top wide receivers and talks about 12 to 15 touches. So in my mind, if these numbers that we're hearing are true and Steven Jones's attitude is Dak Prescott is going to be throwing 50 times a game. He's going to be throwing 50 balls a day, a game, and 15 of them are going to be going to CD Lamb because he's cheap like that and is going to make sure he gets all of his money. That's for damn sure. We can we can definitely put it out there. Um, be that as it may, um, the deal or possible deal, rumors wise, would be 58 million a year, fully guaranteed, no trade clause, and depending on how it's structured could give the Cowboys a little bit of cap relief. Now, I want to dispel some of the misinformation, I'll say. Because what I want you to understand is what Dak Prescott's salary for this season is $29 million, which isn't that bad. $29 million, technically. The reason why the cap hit is fifty five is not because they're paying him 55 this year. What it is is the Cowboys did a payday loan on Dak Prescott. They backloaded this by restructuring it over and over again. They literally signed him to a contract and immediately restructured it. That's why his number was $17 million cap hit the first year, 19 the second year, and 26 last year. And then, of course... All that money that you borrowed, at some point, you got to pay it or they're going to repossess your car. And so the Cowboys are trying not to get their car repossessed. Um, I want to play this clip here from Shannon Sharp and just kind of discuss it a little bit before we get deeper into this. I am right now, and that's really all my focus is. Um, and 
Yeah, I mean, as I said, I enjoy being a cowboy a thousand percent. Um, enjoy living in Dallas, enjoy everything about it. Uh, but this is a business, so um, conversations are going well, but not putting that much thought in. Hoping it gets done now, hoping it gets done in a couple of weeks during the season or whenever it happens. I just know conversations are on the right way. So a lot of confidence, once again, as we've, I said anytime I feel like I've talked about it, I've got confidence in my guys, these guys getting something done. Former Jets defensive end Carl Lawson, that's per multiple reports, it's another addition to the defensive line after Dallas traded for Jordan Phillips yesterday. The Cowboys lost Sam Williams to a torn ACL early in training camp. As much as Jack Prescott's contractual future has been a constant talking point in the offseason, yes, he? he says he's not consumed by it. I'm not putting that much thought into it, hoping it gets done now, hoping it gets done in a couple of weeks during the season or whenever it happens. I just know conversations are on um, are on the right way. Mm-hmm. Dak is in the final year of his deal. He's set to make $29 million, count $55 million against the cap. Without an extension, Dak will hit the free agency market and count $40 million against the cap- Cowboys cap in 2025 what he has ocho they cannot franchise him right they can't trade him either they cannot trade him so he has all the power yeah yeah which which, you know what which uh think about this how many how many times are players in a position where they have the team by the balls think about it not often not often not often at all Mm -hmm. i mean it's a chess move if Mm -hmm. if i if i was dak uh, I mean, what do you do? What would you do if you was Dak? I'm, if, me, myself, if I was Dak and understanding the circus that comes with being a part of the star, I would bet on myself like he's always done. Like he's always done. Well, he got no choice now, Joe, because I don't think they're going to get it done because what he's looking for, he's looking for $60 million. He's looking to reset the market. He's right. looking at something around five which, years, $300 which million. Dollars. so he should be able to do, and I think that's what's, what's holding up CD's, CD's deal as well. So... I, I think that, Wait, that's said, the thing, Ocho. Said, that's what they're 60. looking at. Huh? 60? He's looking at 60 million. He's looking to reset the market. Well, if you're going to reset it, let's go 56 a year. That's no, not, that I, ain't resetting the market. 55, you got three guys making 55. In order to reset it, you got to go 60. I'm just, I'm just telling you, because here's the thing, Ocho. And Jerry might say, I'm not willing to go there, but in free right. agency... There are teams that will. Oh, in order to get a player, he might get sixty-five. In order to get a player to leave the situation that he's currently in, Mm -hmm. you're going to have to overpay. Hey, yeah, most definitely every time. And this is the wonderful thing about the NFL too. Depending on when when a player's time is up, because very few times do do you get to a position where you are a it's unrestricted, right? Am I saying it right? Yeah, he's gonna be unrestricted. Unrestricted free agent, very few times, especially the quarterback position, with no because, chance of the tag being placed on you. Nothing. So that means you getting every, every bit of dollar plus some because whenever, especially somewhat a quarter. Okay, so we're talking about getting every single dollar here. Okay, that that's what what you know the players are saying because everybody's saying, listen, don't sign anything now because you know of course you can get a whole lot more and you can pick and choose and everything else. And so even they're saying that, you know, unless it's 60 million, you're not setting the market. So my question then is, is if let's say Dak says, you know what, we do sign a 57, 58 million dollar contract. okay? which technically, uh, by their definition, doesn't reset the market. And to say at this point in my career, I'm only three million dollars more than Trevor Lawrence, because I think Trevor Lawrence, to me, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, the the amount of money that's going to quarterbacks is insane when you think that there's so many other guys in there that are instrumental in the quarterback position, you know, for the quarterback to be successful. Because that goes from the kicker to the offensive line to all the defensive players. You know, the way that is skewed, it's almost like they're a CEO of a corporation. But I get it. There are very few quarterbacks out there that are capable. You know, there's only... 32 starting spots in the NFL. And you have to look at it and say, you know, 15 are only the ones that are really any good. And that you need a top 10 one to probably really get deep of where you want to be unless you have an absolutely positively loaded roster. So I get it. So if Dak Prescott, hypothetically, when we've been sold that he's going to get 60 million, if he takes 58, does that still piss you guys off? 
Does that still piss you off? Because I don't. I, I haven't heard anybody blink an eye with any of the other fifties contracts. Justin Herbert got his contract last year and was the highest paid for a minute and proceeded to have a terrible season. Nobody said anything like that. And when we're talking about um, Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence, who was a number one pick, uh, I can't say that he had a great season. They were in a position to be the number one seed and then failed to make the playoffs. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how all of this ends up going. Um, you know, now that, of course, you know everybody else has been paid, it's now, what is it going to be? So, we are here today, preseason game number two, in a game that we really need to see some guys show some stuff, um, or they may end up being no longer with this roster. The thing is, we have a couple positions that we have a lot of competition for. Right now on the offensive line, we're, we're kind of thin, so you're not worried as much as you are if you're a wide receiver. But the Cowboys, if they get C.D. Lamb in, who looks to be in phenomenal shape, he looks like he is muscular as can be and ready for the rigors of a long season and hasn't gotten any wear and tear from training camp on him, um, if they can get that deal done, he looks to be the real deal. You, of course, they have him as number one. You got Brandon Cooks or Jalen Tolbert as the number two, number three. And Jalen Tolbert looks to be making ready to make a breakout season. Then from there, you look at, um, of course, Jalen uh, Brooks. Jalen Brooks has been having some good days and things like that to put, it, put him in there where you look and say, yeah, we want to keep him. And then we have Jalen Clopper. Clopper. Clopper has looked really, really good. And then at times, um, especially in practice, Tyron Billy Johnson has looked you know, good as well. But I'm not sure if there's enough space for all of these guys. So Tyron Billy Johnson really needs to have a great game to go ahead and stake his claim for this roster. Deuce Vaughn, who... Has you know because of being injured with the hamstring, he needs to have a really good game to go ahead and stake a claim and to be a guy who needs to be on this roster as well. He definitely does, and we need to see more from Trey Lance. Um, Trey Lance, who the Cowboys got four takeaways from. We need more points, bro. We we need to see you get into the end zone and things. We saw good stuff with your legs and stuff, but we definitely need to see a bit more. Um, later this morning, we'll find out if Mozzie's going to be traveling. Of course, it is only 6 a.m. in uh, Oxnard, so they probably have not done any exams of him yet this morning to see if he's going to go. The game is late, so they've got all day to get there, and from Los Angeles to LA, it's even the drive is only like four hours. So, um, a flight there, 45 minutes at tops. So, there's plenty of time to get him there. So, those are the things that we're looking at at this moment. I would like to think that the Cowboys get CD Lamb done this weekend so we can start fresh with him in training camp next week. Uh, you know, the Cowboys will be back on the field on Monday. Um, it would be nice to have CD back with the team. And this gives the Cowboys, you know, they're not practicing. they got time before the game to get some extra negotiations. they got Sunday and all that. Let's get these things done and out the way so that way we can stop all of the madness that is talking about the Dallas Cowboys. And final thought, let's listen to Jimmy Johnson, who will give you basically kind of puts the onus on the problems with the Cowboys contracts on Jerry Jones. But Jimmy, I don't love the way he handles these stars. To me, if you draft a guy in the first round and he hits and he's at a valuable position, just get the contract done. Get it out of the news cycle. I feel like Jerry's trying to get squeeze extra juice out of it to get free publicity. Yeah. I don't like it. Just sign C.D. Lamb. What do you make of the way they handle him? Well, it, it, he's really in a bind. You know, Jerry's in a bind with these contracts. He's got three players that want to be the highest pay, paid player at their position. Uh, and, you know, he made a mistake by not re-signing them uh, earlier than what he's been doing right now. Uh, the other thing is he's got the quarterback situation with Dak Prescott. And 
I think the entire league's got a problem here because if you don't have a quality quarterback, you're not going to win. Right. Uh, everybody understands that. But the only thing is good quarterbacks are demanding great money. Yes. And they're not great quarterbacks. They're not great players. But because their contract is up, they're going to be the highest paid player at that position. And this has kind of escalated here for the last couple of years because every owner is desperate and they understand they've got to have a quarterback. They've got to have a quality quarterback. And the quarterback money is taking too big a piece of the pie as far as the salary cap. So um, the NFL changed so rules you through your... Your thoughts, everybody. Does Dak Prescott get that contract or do you just move on? A lot of quarterbacks out there drafted this year. Let's see how many of them actually end up being good. And we can go down the highway of a lot of first-round drafted quarterbacks that have never busted a grape. So, to me, a bird in the hand beats two in the bush. I'm Mark Holmes, and we might start out early. We might watch the Commanders game and make this a, you know, a long, it would be a long live stream that would be starting out at seven o'clock eastern let me know in the comments if you'd like to watch the commanders with the left hand up to, as a warm-up for the cowboys versus um the the raiders all right good people as always i appreciate each and every one of you guys and we will see you real soon peace